Right, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use Lightroom and how to use the plugin program Topaz Denoise from within Lightroom. So I've got um, the image I want to work on. I'm in the library module at the minute. I can double click on it uh, just to make sure that that is the one I wanted to actually work on. Um, this is a pretty high ISO shot. If you press I repeatedly in the top left hand corner you'll see that the information toggles between completely off some information about date and time and the pixel size and the one I like is the file name and the basic settings and lens that you use. So this is ISO 8000 so that's pretty high if I zoom in to 100%, you'll see that it is indeed quite a soft and noisy image. It's got no noise reduction applied to it at the minute. And we're going to use the Topaz Denoise on this. Okay, we need. I'm going to take it into the Develop module, top right hand corner. Click Develop. Now what I want to do is, first of all I'm going to crop this. That will make it a bit easier to send to the Topaz Denoise because it's essentially a smaller file, so it will speed up processing. So something like that. Okay, quite happy with that. Okay, if I just press Enter, it will crop it for me. Now I could do some basic processing. So I will bring up some shadows maybe boost some contrast and add some vibrance okay that now that'll do just a quick simulation now very importantly if you go down to the detail tab as it's called open the detail tab we're actually going to switch this off the default for some reason um, in Adobe Lightroom Classic is to have 40. Now that's 40 out of 150. I don't know quite how they get to these numbers. Anyway, it's 40 out of 150 default sharpening and zero noise reduction. So I'm actually going to switch this off completely. So there's a tab here, a little sort of um, up down button, and it, you can see it's grayed out now. And it's now got no sharpening or noise reduction applied at all and that's what I want to do because I want the Topaz Denoise program to do this for me so it's now ready to have um, noise reduction and sharpening applied by the external plugin program so if we go up to photo top left hand corner and look for edit in You'll see that the arrow hints that there is a menu, sub-menu, and there's got a list of programs, and you need to find the Topaz Denoise AI. Click on that, and you get a little dialog box. Edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. Uh, yes, I do. That's what I want to do, so I'll edit that. Now, if you look in the top left-hand corner, it is preparing the file for editing. It has to create a TIFF file because it can't work with the original raw file. Now, it, up near the top right hand side of the image itself, there are a variety of what are called views. I suggest you click on the comparison view, the, the right hand one, where all four what are called engines are available to, to compare and see all at once. Now, you have to allow the computer to automatically apply each of these engines and you can see their names under each each sort of large thumbnail the name is bottom left hand corner and they have to have a green bar it means they've been updated so they they've actually carried out their processing if you look on the right hand side the four varieties are standard clear low light severe noise 
if you click on each one in turn, you will see that the sliders below change. So the one that's highlighted is the sort of active one. This is the one that the sliders are relevant to. So just make sure that you have all four standard, usually top left, clear, top right, low light, bottom left, severe noise, bottom right. And I like to make sure that the auto function is enabled initially. So you go through each one. If it isn't this little lightning bolt down here, if it isn't enabled, click on it and it will give you a starting point for each one. And this window here, you can navigate to a certain portion of the overall image, which you think will be a good representation to compare. So I'm just going to do the most important part of the, the bird, which is the, the head. Again, every time you do that, unfortunately, you'll have to allow the program to apply the different processing engines. And then I have a look at which one I think's done the best initial job. Um, and it's quite difficult to tell, but just to speed things up, um, I'm going to go for a uh, clear, often my favorite. Click on that one. Now I'm going to disable the automatic settings because I think that this one here, the one I'm actually considering using, I think we could probably crank up the remove noise. So I'm going to put on I. Notice that the auto automatically um, becomes removed. And I think that's done a better job than it was originally. And you want a 100% view of this one. These viewing windows, I like to go to the, the one next to that, which is the side by side. Again, just give it a minute to, to render. And what you've got is the original image untouched on the left and what it looks like after Topaz Denoise has done its thing. So I'm quite happy with that. I can still apply some noise reduction when I get it back into Lightroom, but it hasn't lost a huge amount of detail. So I'm going to apply that. And now it will process it fully and send it back to Lightroom and close itself down. And you should get a TIFF file, a .tif file, as you can see here. So I'm still in the develop module. If I zoom in to 100%, now I could decide that I want to now um, do some extra sharpening and noise reduction. So I think you have to be very conservative with these now. You can get some nasty results. So if I put those both up to 10, um, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so my last thing to do is if I go back to, if I go to the library tab, now this is where you can compare two images side by side. You have to be in the library tab. And you have to highlight both of them. So um, the first one is automatically highlighted. If you hold down control, and whilst doing so, click on number two, so they're both highlighted. And then the shortcut button to compare them is the letter C. And if you look at the information, the cleaned up TIFF file is on the left and the original raw RAF file is on the right. And if I zoom in to 100% on one of them, 
it will it will uh, synchronize the other view as well so you can see that that's done a much better job uh, remember 100 percent is a little bit um forensic so i like oftentimes i like to do 66.7 percent just for a better idea okay so what was originally a, a shot that was going to be perhaps almost thrown away look at all those feathers look at the noise on the feathers look how cleaned up it is it that, that is now saved this file and make, made it certainly and um, printable or viewable online and that's topaz denoise i wanted to export that so if i click somewhere off both images and click on number one so it's the only one that's highlighted let's check that edit to file then i go and go to the usual file export and so on and so forth and you can get a jpeg of your cleaned up image that is topaz denoise plugin